We're here in beautiful Hong Kong Bay around the time of an iPhone release. Well, you know what that means for Android Authority. It's Joshua Garth from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is your iPhone 5S and 5C drop test. Well, it's another year and it's another iPhone release. Normally we compare these new iPhones to some sort of Android device, but since Apple changed it up a little bit and gave us two devices to work with, we're just gonna drop both of them back to back. Of course, we have the iPhone 5S, which is the updated version of their aluminum clad flagship phone. But the one I know you wanna know about is the 5C. And I'm certainly excited to see how this plastic or polycarbonate, if you wanna get fancy, how this plastic phone will hold up to our drop test. Guess what? It's drop test time. We're gonna keep it around this height and we're going to just focus on getting it to fall on its back, on one of its sides, and then the one we all know could be the potential big one on its face. Here we go. iPhone 5S drop test onto its back from about chest level. The only real damage that you can see is in the corner right here where it did get scuffed. This is where the point of impact was when it landed on its top corner. As usual, the aluminum body holds up pretty well, but now we're gonna see how the iPhone 5S stands to our side test. We're gonna have it land right here on its bottom. All right, here we go. Next test coming right up. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Once again, the aluminum body still holds up. Even though it landed on its corner, nothing happened to the screen because there's a little bit of a give here on the aluminum frame. But as you can see right there, the aluminum frame did get a little bit of a scuff. All right, again, from around chest, torso level, coming through, hopefully I get a nice flat impact here. And, oh, that one was good. Oh, that one was good. Much like its predecessor, the iPhone 5S still holds up with its build quality. We dropped it on its back, on its side, and on its face. And as you can see here, the phone still looks pretty nice. And for the most part, you can't even tell that this thing's been dropped. Aside from the little scuffs on the corners and the back that you saw from the previous test, the screen remained intact even after we let it fall flat on its face. Really not even any cracks, any scuffs on the screen whatsoever. So the iPhone 5S actually passes this drop test with some flying colors. And now here's the moment a lot of you have been waiting for the iPhone 5C. Let's see if the 5C is more than plastic in a lot of different colors. Let's find out if it's durable. Around chest level, as always, and here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Well, the iPhone 5C landed squarely on its back, but this plastic back that wraps around doesn't look like it has any damage. All right, we put it on its back. Let's see what happens on its side. iPhone 5C, side drop test. And whoop. Ah, well on the side test, what we have here is a corner hit. You can see the scuffs right there. It almost gets over to the screen. But other than that, that's pretty much the only damage we see on the iPhone 5C thus far. All right, well, the iPhone 5C seems to be holding up so far, but we're gonna go ahead and give it our face first test. This is where things could definitely go wrong. So we'll see how the iPhone 5C holds up. So here it comes. Let's find out, oh, there it is. Well, as we usually expect when it comes to iPhones, we see the screen shatter. We had a very good impact right on the front, and as you can see here, there are spider webs all over the front of this phone. So the screen definitely shattered. I'm afraid to touch it for fear of getting cut, but we're gonna see if it still is operational. And so, there you have it. The iPhone 5S and 5C drop test. We did expect the iPhone 5S to hold up pretty much the way the iPhone 5 did with its great build quality, but we didn't know what to expect from the iPhone 5C. Well, Judging from this one test, we do see that both of these phones actually stack up. However, whereas the iPhone 5S was able to 
avoid a shattered screen by bouncing up and down. The iPhone 5C unfortunately landed straight on its face and its screen did shatter. But as you can see in the footage here, both phones are still operational. So judging from this one drop test, we can say that both of these phones actually do hold up and are pretty solid. But in the end, it matters what you think. So stay tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage. Drop us a like on our videos and don't forget to subscribe. And remember, we're your source for all things Android.